into the emergency department. Let's go! In Liverpool, eight-year-old Emil is waiting in the emergency department with his mum. What have you done, fella? I've hurt my arm. Ooh, looks a bit wonky. How did it happen? Emil and his friend Fatu were pondering life's big question. Oh, yes. What's faster in a downhill race? A bike or a scooter? How did you guess that? It's the big question, Chris. Well, Emil hopped on the bike, Fatu took to the scooter, and off they went down the hill. They forgot to put their helmets on. My nose aren't. This could be bad. Exactly. Emil's pedal got stuck. He couldn't slow down. Then he tumbled off the bike and crash landed on his wrist. Ouch! I think that it probably is broken. Let's get you straight to x-ray then. Good lad, okay. Here with the results is emergency nurse practitioner Tracy Wildman. So what does the x-ray reveal? So he's got like a little buckle in the bone there, but when you look on the side view, you can see it's quite angulated, so this bone should be reasonably straight. You can see it's on a bit of a funny angle. A broken and bent wrist will need to be fixed. Definitely will need a cast. It's whether he needs a little bit of a squeeze on that bone to make it nice and straight. A squeeze means that they'll need to manipulate or push and pull his arm back into position. We'll be back to see what the docs decide. Earlier, we met Emil, who came into the emergency department with a broken wrist. And the latest diagnosis, Chris, is a serious case of gigalitis. What? This is no laughing matter. <laughs> Told you. Emil is laughing because he's had gas and air, or laughing gas, after coming to the emergency department with a broken and bent wrist. It happened when he was racing his friend Fatty. The pedal on his bike got stuck, and he tumbled off and crash landed on his wrist. To straighten Emil's wonky wrist is Dr. Sophie Dodd. Okay, so in and out, just nice and slow. That's it. <laughs> we always <make> relapse. <laughs> With the giggles underway, Dr. Sophie pulls the radius bone in Emil's arm back into place. Thanks to the laughing gas, he doesn't feel a thing. And with the bone back in position, Dr. Sophie applies a plaster cast to keep his wrist straight. That's like rock hard. Yep. How long until Emil's wrist is better, dog? He should be back running around within six to eight weeks. That's a winning result. And before you go, any top tips to help other bike racers avoid a trip to the hospital? And the gear that you have, like safety equipment on your arms, wear that. Good advice. Bye. Bye. Bye.